question is, one of the reasons that uh, you object to House Bill 2002, which is probably the biggest bill that you object to, uh, one of the uh, examples you lay out is that 10-year-olds could get abortions without their parents even knowing about it. Well, one of the object, one of the folks who uh, um, who uh, want to call you out on that is saying that if a ten-year-old is pregnant, she probably does need an abortion. What's your reaction to that? This is not really about abortion. This is about parents' ability to be involved in their children, child's medical decisions, because two thousand two takes that out of the parents' hands. And, and you know, there are, what, 35 states in the country who have addressed this adequately by saying that there is a judicial bypass um, and that, you know, children can go to people that are mandatory reporters and have, have um, protection and someone to listen to them. And we have all of those things in place right now. Right. But to take the rights away from parents, I think is abhorrent because that's what this is all about. So I want to talk a little bit about what judicial bypass is. Um, so th as the Senator said, 35 states have some sort of a parental notification or parental consent. Um, if a... Um, if a 10 year old really got pregnant and needed and decided she wanted to have an abortion, she could go to a doctor, she could go to a counselor yes. who would be able to assist her in going to um, a judge who would then who would then say, um, who she could then say, I'm afraid my, my father is gonna hit me or, she, or he's gonna abuse me or my parents are, uh, very, very religious, and they're going to throw me out of the house. Um, and the judge can make the decision. In fact, in some states, even a doctor yeah. could make that decision. And then the whole situation at that point is taken care of. If that was really the concern, if that was the, the majority party's objection that, that, that those rare cases are what you're trying to fix, that would fix it. And, and there are 35 other states where you could look to for a um, for a model yes, of how to fix it. This is they weird. Yeah, figured that out. Yeah. You already have it's already been done. It's done in these states. And these are yes, conservative yes. bastions such as Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Colorado. And of course yes. I'm being sarcastic. These are not conservative states. Colorado, right. you might be able to make a point that well, maybe it's purple, it, but Massachusetts certainly isn't. Rhode Island certainly isn't. These are liberal states who have said, yeah, we want parents to be able to know what their kids are doing. Um, but we also understand there are circumstances that are different and that are special circumstances, and we need to address those. And so the situation has been addressed. So uh, this isn't about abortion. This is about parents' rights. That's <laughs> This is totally overreach as far as disenfranchising our families. And, and I think that that is uh, completely wrong. And people are seeing that, uh, that disparity exists in this law. And then, of course, you know, there are some other things about, you know, children being involved in medical decisions um, that are also addressed in that law. Um, that also just don't make any sense. Right. Yeah, no, it's interesting. We, we, we're going around saying that kids can't have guns, they can't smoke until they're 21, um, they can't... They can't get a tattoo. Can't get a tattoo until they're 18 or 21, they can't drive, a, get a rent a car until they're 25. These are relatively minor things. But sex change operations and abortions are quite enormous, quite enormous yes, decisions. Whether you're pro-choice or pro-life or uh, pro-trans surgeries or, or, or against them, we can all agree that they're pretty monumental decisions in people's lives. Um, not like smoking a cigarette. 
and yet we right. say that you can't smoke a cigarette until you're 21. But you know, we want to make it so you can have an abortion and not tell your parents until when you're 12. Like. Do they think they don't connect? And so, um, again, it's not a butt abortion. It's about parents being able to be involved in in their kids' lives. And it seems like and the Oregonian had a really great editorial about this. Yes, they, they did. Said that again, the editorial, the the, the the super conservative editorial board of the Oregonian said, "Yes, yeah. hey, if you want to address these issues, go get a judicial bypass system." Right, but you're not doing that. So I, well, super conservatives. Exactly. So anyway, there's your objection to that. I mean, this, this bill just just proves a you know a profound disrespect for parents and their ability well, to raise their children. And quite frankly, I think the the messaging that has come out of the house and senate democrat caucus that we've seen shows a remarkable disrespect for the intelligence of oregonians saying that uh you're trying to stop a, and then we'll talk about this one a little bit later but you, this you're uh that all 2002 does is guarantee abortion rights that's not what it does it's <laughs> not what it all does. uh so they're assuming that Quite frankly, they just seem Oregonians are stupid, which is uh, offensive to me. And um, yeah. uh, but hopefully, it, apparently, they think it works. So, 